Man, look. I know that most of you guys know me as a bass player, bass tutorial. Ooh, tutorialist. That's the word I'm going to use. I'm going to make up. I've made that word up just now. Tutorialist. Anyway, I also teach music, but I've also got another, I'm a side man. I play bass with a lot of different people. Um, but last year, 2019, I released a record. Um, uh, my, my given name is Theodore. And so the, the, the artist's name is Brother Theodore. The name of the album is called St. Anne. And um, it was named after the street I grew up on in New Orleans. If you've ever been to New Orleans and you know where the Carver Theater is on uh, in the Treme area, um, I grew up right behind the, the Carver Theater. So um, a lot of love and uh, attention went into this record. And today, um, which is like as grimy as I look, as I look right now, I'm just like, I got to film this video because it's been a very, very exciting to uh very exciting day for me today because I learned that the website Funktopia listed my record as one of the uh, top 20 best funk albums of 2019. That was my very large water bottle falling on the floor. Let me say that again. Funktopia listed my record as one of the best funk albums of 2019 so i'm super excited about that when i get out of my car i want to talk just a little bit more about that record stay tuned dude for real i can't seem to get out of my car today i don't know what it is anyway man i really want to tell you about this record so really it's um i called it that because you know that was the place where i became a musician where I started, you know, really falling in love with music and learning how to play. I won't say it was where I became a musician. It's, be, it's where I fell in love with music and really started getting into it. It's where I spent my adolescence, um, all the way through high school. And, um, the title track is called the ghost of St. Anne, which really is a, a dedication to my mother and, um, my memory of my mother growing up on St. Anne and also the journey that we're on right now. So um, I don't talk about it a ton, but about four years ago, my mother started coming down with signs of, uh, of dementia. And uh, I knew that I was going to have to eventually move back to New Orleans to be close to her. And so um, I wanted to really take advantage of the space that I was in with the incredible musicians that I'd been playing with in various different projects in the Bay Area. And um, and so I just kind of went out on a ledge. Some of the songs were written years ago and there are some, some newer songs as well. It's not, all, it's not all funk and I definitely didn't want to do a bass record. I didn't want to be a bass player that, that just kind of did that thing. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it, it wasn't what I wanted to do. So, you know, um, I'm singing a lot on it. I wrote a lot on it. Well, I wrote most of it with the exception of, uh, there's a cover of Allison by Elvis Costello. And there's also a cover of uh, Strawberry Letter 23, which is sung by Tamar Gillette and um, obviously written by Shuggy Otis, made famous by the Brothers Johnson. So, you know, a lot of bass on there. Definitely a lot of bass. Um, also really proud that the, the, not the title track, the first track on the record, which is called um, IMG, which is short for Inside My Groove, um, has Levi Caesar from the MPG and also Matt Fink from the Revolution. Uh, you don't know him. You know him as Dr. Fink uh, from Prince and the Revolution. So that was like a dream come true. My glasses look heck of weird. In the light. Anyway, you see, like, need to get this off my chest right now. I'm just super proud of the record, and so I wanted to just put out a quick video. Um, I wish I was more eloquent and could say more about the record right now. I've been talking all day. I teach, um, I teach school as well, so I've been talking all day, and I gotta go get something to eat. But um, I will say that if you if you are into these videos that I put on YouTube, bass lessons, um, things like that, I'm definitely going to leave 
a link to my album in the comment section below in addition to you know maybe leaving a tip or buying a shirt or a mug um, buying it you know buying a copy of my record is is one of those ways where um, you know I would appreciate you showing your appreciation for um, for the video tutorials but um, I really want the music to be heard you know um, so yeah man I'm excited about that I don't know how Funkatopia got even got a hold of the record I will say that I got I, there was you know it was, I got pretty lucky and so it did get picked up one of the songs got picked up on uh, an editorial playlist from Spotify pretty quickly and just like overnight got a ton of um, streams and all that and I know somebody's gonna say something about streaming and blah 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 I don't care about all that man um, not that I don't care I you know it's not the focus of what you know what I'm what I'm putting down here so um, it got picked up and it got on a couple of different playlists and it's just really exciting to come out of the gate having been a side man for so long and then stepping out of the shadows so to speak to do your own record um, and see it get this kind of recognition is pretty exciting. No, it's not a Grammy or anything like that, and that's fine as well. I'm excited about it. I'm excited for you to check it out. So, there's a link in the comment section below. The sun's going down. I'm losing light. Can't ride around with the light on. I mean, I guess I could, but that would be kind of goofy. So, anyway, by all means, man, go check it out. I think you're really going to dig it. And, uh, yeah, man, until I see you in the next video, peace. Two fingers.